Hey everybody, welcome back to another land. Please abide by the with plus. Hey little baby, won't you give me a sign? I'll do anything to make you mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. It's just whenever I do an introduction or an outroduction, and if they're called introductions, they should be called outroductions. Two F V zero seven W eight V. I feel like John Michael Montgomery. Sold to the lady in the second row. She's an eight. She's a nine. She's a ten. I know. I always thought that was like a little insulting as I got older and thought about it. He's like. At first, he's like, eh, she's all right. And then he's like, actually, she's perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna see if outroduction is a real word. Intro and outro are two common words. So why is introduction a word and outroduction not? Intro is a prefix. Outro is a slang word derived from intro because of in and out, I'm guessing. No research here, but outro is probably technically a word because of how much it's commonly used, but outroduction isn't a commonly used word, so it isn't a proper word. Thank you very much, Dickweed Monkey Balls on Reddit. That's not a joke, that is indeed the username. And it might get the video demonetized, however, it was worth it for the laugh. You can always rely on Dickweed Monkey Balls to give you a straight answer when it comes to your hard-hitting Linguistical questions. Don't hurt me, I'm Ryan. Thank you. Um, that might be a library. Or as I like to call it as a youngster, a library. You guys go to the library. There's many branches of the Vancouver Public Library. I don't want to brag, but we're a very learned city. <laughs> I don't go that often. Like, I went once. I used to go to the library, by the way, all the time as a kid. I, uh, I'm, I, mean, I always say, like, I was an only child, but, like, I am an only child, but I'm not a child anymore. It's, like, a weird thing to say. It's worse if you say, I used to not be an only child, but now I am. Because, I don't know, either you regressed in age or something terrible happened. But the point is, um, I went, wa I used to read all the time. As a kid, I went to the library all the time. This is kind of in, like, the pre-internet age. And as the internet grew uh, in, I mean, both prevalency and usefulness, the library seemed like less of a concern for me. And then in, uh, in university, I'd always heard, you're going to use the library, like, all the time. But we had things like, uh, you know, JSTOR by then, and, like, online journal access, which was amazing. You know, to be able to essentially go to the library uh, by just being in the privacy of your own home and the, you know, the comfort of your own home was amazing not have to search through books and the Dewey Decimal System and the etc cetera's etc. Cetera's. But I went to the library, oh no, goodbye. Unless there's something here? We might as well try it. I went to the library here and took out a couple of books. It was like, it was like three years ago. I was like, the library is super cool. You get all these books for free. Why would I buy books? When I could just get them for free. And then I never went back. I mean, I returned the books, but apart from that, I never went back. You should go back to the library, dude. You can find me at the library. I'll be upgrading my bibliography. Doesn't really work. Like, in particular... This could be good. Uh, in particular... You know, I, I need all these programming textbooks because of DAE. Still, we can grab this and have an arcade next floor, uh, maybe. Um, why, am I, why, why am I paying uh, Thompson Reuters and you know McGraw Hill four hundred thousand dollars per textbook when I can just go to the library and get you know Professor Doyle Brunson teaches you how to program in C sharp from the year two thousand for free? Surely this hasn't changed that much in the past one hundred years, right? Uh, we do have a battery charge, and we're taking a little bit of time on floor one, but that's good. There is nothing in our boss fight that would be worse to pick up than Bob's Rotten Head. So we're gonna go here and uh, re-roll Bob's Rotten Head. Hopefully it's a passive of any usefulness. That's the best we could hope for right now. And it's actually fine. Um, on a tiny room, Hushy is actually pretty decent. Give me a second. Okay, I think I got it. He's the hushy. He's no star. He collides, slides, slides on the walls so far thinking. <laughs> if there's nothing missing in my run, then why is 
Hushy, the best one. Doesn't really work. Anyway, uh, Hushy is almost useless, I would say, against Ragman. Uh, just because Ragman is so mobile, he's like track three on uh, who's next. I think that's going mobile, but it's been a little while. By a little while, I mean like literally like two days. I'm trying. Well, you know what? I'm trying to think. It's definitely uh, it starts with Bob O'Reilly. Then I think it goes Bargain. It's a great song. Then maybe Love Ain't for Keeping. Then going mobile. Can't, there's only like seven songs on the whole. It's great. You never listen to Who's Next? Oh man, please. It's got a lot of bangers on it. Toxic by Britney Spears. That's on that. Originally done by the Who, of course. Um, Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars, originally a Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend joint. Hey, NL, nice joke. Why don't you all f f f fade away? Okay. It didn't really work that well. Hey, come up here, please, so Hashi can destroy you. I'm happy. I'm happy with parts of this run right now. We shouldn't have extinguished that fire, honestly. Ah, it was terrible. Happy with parts of this run. Happy with our DPS as a result of the uh, tiers upgrade. Only because the tiers upgrade is particularly good, but... If we're gonna really make it pop, we do obviously need a little bit more than what we've got, but we're well poised to go into this deal with the devil. And depending on the enemy that... Oh, so good. Depending on the enemy that we're fighting, um, on the boss fight, we could be in a really, really good spot to use little Hashi. Like, for example, um, the uh, Worms, Larry Jr. Oh, dude, thank you. Uh, are are really really susceptible to just getting crushed by this even though they're mobile if we can actually get the The damage on them. They're gonna be destroyed. You don't really want anything in there. We're fine Cricket's head was an amazing pickup uh, and we're, we're actually ready to leave So we spent like four minutes on the last floor and like 90 seconds on this floor double monstro not as good with uh, Hushy, but at the same time we have recently doubled our damage, so uh, We don't really need Too much in the way of improvement here. We also recently added more hops Okay, Squeezy's lovely. We probably don't want to reroll it. I think we, you know, we did become Guppy on the last run, but Guppy's collar with a lot of HP is kind of like, you know, you run the game theory, you know you're going to be happy with it, more or less. Reroll that for sure. Wow, it's insulting. Normally, to be honest with you, I would probably take it just because it exists and we have enough HP, but I think that that's a habit that's gotten me into some trouble recently. Because I gotta think, it's not really about our HP right now, it's about our HP in the future, and, you know, if I'm taking every deal with the devil, eventually I'm, I'm gonna want the bad deal with the devil HP back. I think, at least. So we spent a bomb for a penny. Bad deal. Send a bomb and a key for a damage upgrade. Extremely good deal. Bomb for a half-broken magnet. Terrible deal. Either way, though, this room has paid dividends. This feels like our sixth wave. Okay, we made it. Is this XL? Yeah, it is. That's great. I mean, it sucks that we have no keys right now, but... You know, this is gonna make boss rush a real possibility. We did do boss rush on the last run. And we did do Hush on the last run. Feel no compulsion to do them on this run, but if we can, I wouldn't, you know, dislike it. We already have one guppy item, so I'll definitely sacrifice uh, a little bit to take a chance here. I'm gonna take our uh, Eternal Heart just out of convenience's sake, but uh, the right play, and I'm, I'm more than familiar with the methodology here, but the right play is not to take it because there could be an arcade. But truth be told, past a certain threshold, HP is like the least valuable resource in this game. And I, I know that sounds needlessly incendiary. But I really do think, they're not, it's not like this is a collectible card game. <laughs> this isn't Magic the Gathering. But it is similar to Magic in the sense that, you know, your HP only really matters insofar as, you know, if you don't have any, you die. Once you get over 3 or 4 HP and you find yourself... Assuming you have a certain base level of damage, you find yourself in a good spot, you know, that you don't need anymore. You know, every everything else is just gravy. 
And say so it takes a, it took me years to learn that in this game. I'd be like, okay, I want a damage upgrade. What do I want if I don't get a damage upgrade? 100% HP. I don't even need tears. Tears suck. Just give me damage. Why would I need tears if I have damage? Now we know, you know. Uh, ooh, the infinity is very interesting. I think I'm gonna roll it just because it's so weird. I kind of like the Zane factor here. I'm trying to get back into the Zane of things. Like, I love our run, and any D4 or D100 reroll is very likely to make our run temporarily worse. Because we have so many good, like, in particular, we have so many damage upgrades early, but I don't want to let that uh, determine, like, my whole life here. Can't get in there. Um, you know, let's do it. We at least reroll it. I will, uh, I will absolutely use the D100. That's why I think the D Infinity is cool, is because you can get the the rerolls much faster. And again, we're only really wanting to use it until we get to a point in which we're well. Uh, we're we're happy with our run. What's kind of cool about this as well is that we're, we're stuck with it until we get the D4 or the D100 again. We don't know. Like it could show up uh, immediately. It could show up uh, actually never. So. We might be stuck with our newfound run, which at least has taken us closer to spun. And we'll definitely play you. I'm trying to see what else we have. Oh, empty vessel. So if we can get down to a half red heart, we'd actually like this run a lot better, I think. Although we can already fly for multiple reasons, but let's see what we get here. Obviously not going to be a secret room to our left as much as I wish that it were. Could get to our shop, but... I'd rather just get something from this guy that's going to be rerolled. We still got one more item room left to go as well, so if we get a D6, we should kind of hold up for that, I think. Does an empty vessel work at half of a red heart? I'm just wondering, like... I, I thought we would have a visual change. I know we can fly, but I thought we would have a visual change as a result. Perhaps not, though. Perhaps not. Okay, so... Get that out of the way, and then this should give us a D12 charge, and we're really trying to get to that D100 right now, because we're not in love with this run. Really, our, our ideal for this run... Oh, this doesn't give us a full charge. Uh, the ideal for this run would be to get into a situation where we actually um, have the run that we had last time. <laughs> Every kind of electricity, and then also uh, sad bombs. That was a good... A good time was had by all. Um, we will take this. And I think we'll just go for it. I mean, we got, because we have an orbital, any boss is not going to be that hard, especially because we got HP to work with as well. It doesn't mean we should just be taking damage willy nilly like I just was, but easy fight. Did get a deal. So we'll take every item right now. We don't have rerolls regardless. We'll definitely take. I have Belial, um, which again I hope just rerolls into a better item when we uh, when we get the chance. We got a lot to do left on this floor though, and now everything's thrown into you know disarray. We don't know is bot okay. Actually, this run is amazing now. Our speed is horrendous, but our uh, well, our speed is bad, not horrendous. It's a little, it's a loaded term, but uh, our damage is amazing. We can actually see where we're going. So let's go. Sorry, let's go. There we go. Down here and let's see what we're getting here. We will probably D8 immediately. Because again, we can't get to the D100 or the D4 without going through the D8. I love you, Midas Touch. Damage has gone way down. But with Eye of Belial, I don't think it's that bad. Alright. Don't really need that. Uh, we don't really need to go to the shop either, but I think I will just to see if it's greed. No greed. Lots of keys, though. I think I want Sackboy. Yeah, I like this. I don't even know if Sackboy will, will last. In fact, I have no reason to believe that it would, but why not? What else we got going on this one? Why do we still have Empty Vessel? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just... Oh, because we haven't re-rolled our whole run yet, you idiot. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so we should re-roll the D6, as weird as this sounds. 
We could re-roll the D1 if we wanted, but this run didn't end up uh, finishing in a spot that made me particularly pleased with it. So I think we're going to hold on to our ability to get other stuff in the future. Varicose Veins is fine. And it looks like we're going to have another at least few rooms uh, with this run here. Could be worse. We got a lot of good items in utility sense, but uh, not a lot of great synergies. You know, statistically, we're a little bit under where we'd like to be. Um, Curse of the Blind is going to certainly make things interesting. You don't like to be at 3.5 damage on the Depths 1 is really what like it mostly comes down to. D20. There's value in that. I haven't really been using the D12 that effectively, but that's because most of the time it ends up not really being that effective. Although it can have its moments if you can reroll into like a mushroom that gives you something good. Death card. I think we're just going to try to get something out of this. You know what? Let's lose Liberty Cap too. Got the Hanged Man and Safety Cap. Well, uh, you know, a, a cap for a cap leaves everybody's head warm, so... There is that. You know, a lot of people think that, uh... Or at least, I, mean, I don't know if they think it, but I think, like... They, they believe that when bald people wear hats, it's because they're ashamed of their baldness or embarrassed by it some way. And that might be true for some people. Um, let's go. No uh, transformation, but we do have a sick brimstone technology laser with a lot of damage, and I'm excited. Amazing. Um, please give me some permanent statistical improvements. But um, that's like really most of the time not actually the case. Like uh, I I do wear a hat. When I had hair, I didn't wear a hat. You know what the difference is? In the This is incredible. Um, in the wintertime, if you don't wear a hat, you don't have hair on your head, your head gets friggin' cold, dude. Like, extremely cold. To the point where you can actually, you know, brain freeze that you get from, like, eating ice cream too fast. You can get that, but just due to coldness. Like, due to the weather. So you, you kind of got it. And then in the summertime, they don't teach you this at baldness camp either. Um, if you sweat... Sweat until you can't sweat no more. All the... No. No thank you. I'd love a D6 here. Um, all of the... Uh, sweat... Normally it would get trapped by your hair, which sounds kind of gross. But is at the very least a little bit useful, right? Not the case here. Oh, I didn't even mean to buy that. Um, when you're bald, like let's say you go for a run, you kind of need like a hat or a sweatband or something, or at least a towel. All the sweat just drips down your head into your eyes. There's nothing to catch it. So if you got like a little sweat fountain going on up there, uh, you, you're in trouble, mister. And so that's why, you know, bald people, they wear hats for, for function as well as maybe for, you know, either fashion or covering up for their own baldness, which doesn't really matter all that much in the whole scheme of things. But it's the same reason most people wear hats, you know? Comfort. One way or the other. Polydactyl. Hanged man. Uh, the shovel, which, I mean, see you later. We might as well go down. I d this run is good, don't get me wrong. I don't know, it sounds like I'm about to launch into like a poem or something. This run is good, don't get me wrong, but I don't think we'll keep it for long. You see, what I want is damage for days. So I'm gonna reroll. To keep up the Zane. Okay. I think I love this run. There's a lot of problems. <laughs> Shot speed seems to be a big one. Um, but I, I think this might be what we roll forever because it's kind of hilarious. I, I know, like I'm trying not to get hit, but the shot speed is so actually bad. I And my speed is actually 0 0.65. It's very hard to get out of the way here. Alright, get D1. I'll tell you what. We'll tough it out right here. 
I know that we're leaving early, but the run is in like full Zane mode. We don't need another item room. We're gonna have, we're about to have 30 item rooms as soon as we press the space bar, so. It's a really good run if we could just get like a speed upgrade. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. And then like, I wanna kill one wave here. Reasoning is very, very simple. I want to get the D100, but then we can shovel out of this run. I don't even know. This is one of those runs where I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't even know like where we are. I, what is this? Kidney Stone Dead Eye? Well, we have the D4 coming, so maybe we'll just do one more wave real quick. We're probably going to take a. Oh, well, you had Nuns Habit there temporarily. What do we got on this one? This one seems actually bad. Um. I'm gonna keep it up for now. I think it's counterintuitive, but I got hopes that there's like there's something for us on this run if we go deep enough. Battery charges, please. Would have been better back when we had sad bombs, but not a not a terrible use of our time. Okay, that's pretty not good. Uh, two of diamonds is fine. We do have the D8, but we're not really looking for the D8. We do have a Perthro rune. We're not really looking for the Perthro rune. Not yet, anyway. Honestly, like, I'm not completely convinced you can actually hurt me badly, so... This is one of the more foolish decisions I think I've ever made on a run, but I'm kind of willing to stick with it, because the, the risk of death is near zero. We must have some kind of, uh, like, car battery or something, because whenever we were using the D8, we also got something different. You know, we also got, like, uh, you know, at that time, I think we got a D4 or a D100 out of it as well. I'm just I'm waiting for the run that changes everything. This is not it, by the way. Any run with 0 0.752 speed is going to be tough to roll with. At this point, we might as well tough out boss rush, it feels like. Honestly, hit me. We're doing so little damage at such close range. I think that the mom transformation knife is like the best way to hurt you. Please. Beelzebub. Our damage has somehow gotten worse. But Tech X is beautiful. Now, we're probably going to stay away from this one just because Tech X is like... It's kind of like a joke how often I use it. Okay, we got something cool going on here. I don't know if it's cool enough to roll with, but it's got some interesting sort of je ne sais quoi. It's not impossible to hurt enemies with it. Let's put it that way. We got like anti-grav homing tiers. Really, really good rate of fire. That's hilarious. Um, I cannot hit you. I think we've lost the car battery effect. Perhaps, thankfully. This is an interesting run. Some people are going to want that run to stick around, but I don't, I don't think it's got it going on. What on earth is this? This one, I actually do not understand. Uh, I think we gotta stay here. I, I'm being real with you. I don't know what happens to our tears. They go up and, and they disappear. Like, we can still be hit, but... I, I, I actually just don't know where they're going. Like, I think they're disappearing maybe off the top of the screen? When they land, they're they're destructive. Oh, I okay. When I let go of firing, a bunch of them detonate or something. I have no idea. Well, 
Uh, I think we're just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm 0 0.53 speed. Um, yeah, so we might stick with this one for a little while. It's It seems strong, and it's very, very strange. It's like, I think I... When, it, when an enemy gets hit, they eat it really badly. And then they spread that to other enemies somehow. But I don't know how it's like... Like what mechanism it's using to come to pass here. If anyone can reverse engineer what this is, please feel free to let me know. I'm happy to see it. I think we got like soy milk in here somewhere. I know that sounds crazy, but... We also have 99 cents and... Uh, Oh, this is so much worse, I think. Like, do we have a monstrous lung in here? I don't know. We got 99 cents and money equals power, and our damage is horrible. So we got some kind of downward pressure on our damage right now. There's just... There's just no question about it. I mean, we get something like 4 damage just from having 99 cents to begin with, with money equals power. So, it's like, something's given us like 1.71 damage. Repeating, of course. Oh no. <laughs> We've lost our, uh, see that makes perfect sense. We lost our, uh, our D1, or in D infinity, uh, because I no longer had the backpack after so many rerolls, so as soon as I picked up something, it phased out of existence. We do still have the shovel. We might need that to get something done here. Do we have, like, cool bombs? Not at all, huh? I need to get rid of some red hearts so I can pick up all these black hearts that are dropping here. The thing is, if we're not going to use the shovel... Oh my god, is that Guppy? No. But we can at least... This sounds ridiculous, but we're getting so many black hearts, we must have Serpent's Kiss. That we, we might as well use all of our Guppy's Paw Charges. Um... All of our HP as Guppy's Paw, I should say. Because I think it's actually easier for us to get black hearts than to get red hearts. So I don't know what we've done to this run. But we're, we're in full-on Zane territory. Like, we, what, we, we, we locked ourselves up and threw away the key. You know, we, we've lost the, uh, the thing that enabled us to get out of the Zane. We got lost in the subatomic realm. Hopefully... We can manage to hold it all together. We're only one guppy item away from completion, so we do want to try this. And you know what? We'll probably go Tammy's head, honestly. The shovel is not really useful after this point. And Tammy's head actually seems like incredibly good. If we can use it close to an enemy, they're gonna they're gonna eat it pretty badly. Okay, you're uh, don't make me laugh. All right, so this run again is kind of run the gamut, and I think it's uh, I think it's good again. In fact, I think it's great. As long as Tammy's head gets the job done, and it usually does. Oh my God, we're creating like incredible creep as well. We're creating incredible weirdos. What the heck is going on around here? I can't decipher. That doesn't really work, but... I don't understand. Here's what gets me, is that our range is actually fairly high, like 30-something. Um, we must have, uh, like, epi Epidemic or whatever it's called. The one that when it kills an enemy, makes all other enemies near it get poisoned. I'm 100% not fighting Hush. This is just too weird to begin with, but... Uh, I, I really don't understand why our shots just disappear. Maybe our range is too high, or maybe... I don't know, we, we, we seem to have, like, Cricket's body or something going along with it, which might explain some of it, but... Certainly one of the weirdest uh, re-rolls in recent memory. I'm kind of glad we got stranded. And, like, it, it's such a weird feast or famine sort of situation. Like, against, uh, 
mom's heart, we pressed the space bar and won like instantly. And then against like four bomb flies, we, we had to fight for our rights. Fight for what's right. You know, dun 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 Where are you? Like, I can't kill little enemies. We gotta look for Guppy. These rooms are actually, like, real easy for us. That time I didn't even see a tear. I can't tell if our tears, they ricochet off one another, or they follow me somewhere? I don't know, dude. It's really, it's just like, it's confusing right now. Let's leave it at that. Hey. Thank you for standing close to one another. You made my life much easier. Now you're gonna say, Anel, why don't you go back and get that black card? Well, we should be able to make, I was just gonna say, we, we can get more convenient HP later. Are you dead? You're dead. Are we already guppy and I've been barking up the wrong tree? We are generating flies from somewhere. Or is that... No, we are generating. But we're generating like one every now and then? I don't know, man. Again. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you go in too deep, it's hard to come back out. It's like House of Leaves, man. You don't want to go too deep into the basement and the house starts to shift around. You cause some problems. We went a little too deep into the basement, and somehow, you know, we've become gods, but that's not always good. I don't know if you've read the book, but that's not necessarily the fate that befalls the family. Okay. Just a little bit of heat. There we go. Well, it has been a fast one. This is one that's tickled my Isaac sensibilities, which doesn't happen on every run these days. You know, we, we've seen a lot. Spider baby? What is this transformation? Our face is a spider now. We get like the mulligan but for spiders? That'd be pretty sick. It doesn't happen very often that I, I get into such a weird re-rolled state that I, I don't even know what's what anymore, but here we are. It might be bookworm, honestly. Does Dead Sea Scrolls count as a book? I think we've been through this probably about a hundred times, but I always forget. You lived? How does this shot kill mom's heart, but it doesn't kill a pestilence in one hit? I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not even just disappointed. I'm like, I'm just surprised. Like, we're gonna win. We got no reason to be mad. I'm just trying to piece together what it is about this run that makes it so unique. And then when it's just like one little baby enemy, we can't do anything. This should be, like, this is my test to see if it's Epidemic or whatever it's called. I forget, the Euthanasia maybe. Or, uh, wait, 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 it's, uh, Toxic Shock? I can't remember. It's one of those, one of those biohazard items. Like, we crushed that room so easily. This guy died in a heartbeat. These guys always die in a heartbeat. That's not even a... A test to see if you can kill Pink Widow. So it written and I saw it say, Pink Widow has low HP. No boss, health bar so small. Pink Widow gonna get dissolved. It's a Pink Widow. Pink, 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 pink. The Pink Widow. Any uh, Nick Drake and Josh fans in the chat? I know what I said. Yo, though. Could you please? I don't... I, I, like, I'm just trying to get to the boss at this point, not because it's the end of the run, but because I know when I fight a boss, I press the space bar, Everything dies. When I fight little enemies, I press the space bar, nothing dies. It's like they literally take more damage. It like my run does more damage against bosses than it does against basic enemies. This never happens. Well, it didn't happen against Blue Baby either. Is it the pen like we maybe we have the pencil and that's doing it. 
Like, that's when the big damage is coming in. But anyway, thanks for watching. It was a strange one. I had a great time. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.